Hello, this is my uh, hard drive dry cell. Um, it consists of around 17 or 18 plates. Um, it's producing pretty decent. I'm using uh, baking soda, vinegar, and distilled water. Um, it consists of three positives and three negative and some neutral plates in between there. I do have a leaking problem. It's leaking around the connections. I'm going to rebuild this cell anyways. I just wanted to see if it would be even worth pursuing. And from the bubbles I'm getting, it seems like it, it will be worth uh, pursuing. I have a bunch of hard drives that people have been giving me, so I'm going to build a lot bigger of a cell, and hopefully I get a lot more production out of it. Um, I'm using a computer supply. Uh, I believe it's a 12 volt uh, side I'm using, so that's all I'm using to produce this. And if I had to say, because of the size of the bubbles that are coming up, I might be getting around a half a liter or maybe a little bit more. I'm having a little bit of a problem with particles being in the solution after it runs for a few hours. I get this green sludge, and I think that's because I'm using automotive uh, car gasket material. So I'll be rebuilding this cell, and hopefully it rebuilds a lot better than what it is. And as you can see, it is producing a lot of bubbles. Um, I will light some on in a minute. I'm going to put some more distilled water in so the water is all the way at the top so I can go ahead and light it and show that I am making HHO gas. Um, it didn't cost me all that much. It cost me maybe 20 bucks between the cutting board and few of the fittings, the uh, bolts and washers and nuts and that's about it. I spent about five bucks between the nuts, bolts, washers and then the uh, cutting board was ten dollars and I had to get some more tubing so that was another five bucks. So twenty bucks to build an HHO dry cell and the car gasket material was like a dollar for a foot so I mean, that wasn't that much. So I'm at about 20 bucks for this project. And it's producing enough. Um, basically, what I'm wanting to build is a torch. Uh, they can run off the battery. So that way I can cut some rims off of some tires. And that's about it. I got not that much tied up into it. Um, just a bunch of hard drives that were given to me free. Um, they're the old hard drives coming out of like a 386 IBM computer. So I figure with the thick uh, platinum plating, they won't uh, erode as much. I can't use KOA sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide due to the aluminum base metal in the, uh, on the plate. They're only platinum coated. They're not solid platinum and KOH or NOH uh, reacts with aluminum and that will produce hydrogen but it will deteriorate my plates to the point that there will be nothing left. So I have to find alternatives to use is um, electrolyte. The problem I'm having with uh, uh, baking soda is that it is leaving this crusty white crystallized shit on my plates so it kind of clogs them up so I'm going to try to find some alternatives maybe just straight vinegar with nothing added to it or maybe very little um, baking soda and more vinegar and just the water maybe some hydrogen peroxide maybe something along that lines I don't know I'm going to do a lot of testing but as far as I can see, it is producing a good amount of hydrogen, and you know, for 20 bucks, I can't go wrong. The power supply didn't cost me nothing. I do computer recycling, so I got all the all the hard drive disks, the computer's power supply for free. So basically, it was just the initial cost of the cutting board and the tubing and uh, the bolts. So. That's about it. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up where you can see that it is hydrogen coming out of there and not uh, just gas that I'm pumping through it. So, yes. 
second. Well, I guess I proved my theory is hydrogen coming out of here using a low power supply, so not much electrical light up at it, like maybe a little more than a teaspoon into the electrolyte. Right now I'm springing a bunch of leaks, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hopefully I can build a better setup with no leaks. Um, so this is my theory on the hard drive cells. Uh, after I run it for several, several, several days, I will eventually tear it apart. It was a pain in the ass to put together. As you can see, my cutting board is bent. Uh, that was to try to reduce all the leaks, which mainly I've gotten all the leaks around it, and now it's all the seals around everything else. The tube can come out, fine going in. So I've got to get all those sealed off, and that's about it. Uh, Pretty decent production, as you can see, some big bubbles coming out of there. Um, as if for now. Um, hope y'all like it. I'm open to any comments, suggestions, or anything else that y'all might have for me.